What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are having a head-to-head -head showdown between our two four-wheel drive go-karts. One of them has one engine and 24 horsepower, and the other one has four engines and 26 horsepower. First things first, we're going to have a good old drag race. Then we're going to do a hot lap to see who, who's best. And then I think we ought to have a good old-fashioned follow the leader to see who gets stuck or who doesn't get stuck. That's right. So, Ike is going to be driving our four-engine go-kart that we built almost four years ago in my parents' garage. It is extremely simple. It is rudimentary. Uh, every engine powers an individual wheel. It's very interesting, striking go-kart. And then here we have our Ford Bronco four-wheel drive power wheels that we just completed. Of course, I am three engines down, but we have similar horsepower. I have better tread on my tires. Drag race is going to be interesting. Let's get into it. I must say, I was a little bit surprised by the outcome there, dude. I wasn't. Think about all that torque you have. I mean, I pulled out in front, right? Yeah, you did. And then I chased you down pretty good. Yeah. 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 Um, This was fun. An uphill muddy drag race is, is the way to test a four-wheel drive vehicle. That's right. Um, I think if you had better tread on your tires, it might be a different story. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> the only one way to find out, and that's to do it, but not today. That's right. So I won the drag race two out of three. So that means that I am going to lead in our head to head showdown uh, hot lap on the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. So that means you have to try to get around me. Okay. In this sketchy thing. Okay. When I'm in that sketchy thing. Okay. You ready? Yeah, man. Let's do it. We had to take a brief intermission because Ike's pantaloons destroyed themselves. So he's using some good old 3M adhesive and some plastic we have laying around. Man? Whoa. I feel like this episode really took a turn. I think it's good. Let's get back out there. Right. So again, because I won the drag race two out of three, I'm getting the jump on the cars and cameras hotline.
try it again? Yeah. All right, you, you got a, like a stick with you or something. Yeah. How'd it go? Not too good. What happened? Am I good here? No, pretty dirty. I got stuck. Oh, really? So we're running into that? Yeah. There's a stick. Well, it failed miserably, guys. It failed miserably. <clears throat> I have no idea where Ike is. Can't see him, can't hear him. But that was a blast. The Bronco is actually so good. We stiffened the suspension recently and Wow, that made a heck of a difference. We just need to clamp up some slop in the steering. Ideally make the steering a little bit easier, but it's really solid. Oh, I see him walking. Are you doing the walk of shame? I lost a chain. You lost a chain. How would the lap go other than the chain? I was, uh, I was on you. Yeah? Yeah. Until uh, Peyton's, or sorry, Pathfinder, Point. Pathfinder Pass. Um, yeah, I, I just, uh, she got a little loose on me heading heading down there right near uh, Pathfinder Pass. Yeah. I came out of it a little bit, you pulled ahead. By the time I come around the corner, you were a pretty good lead ahead. Yeah, yeah. And then I heard a ka-chunk, ka-ching, 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 ka -ching, and I was like, I'm going for it. <laughs> and all of a sudden the front tire locked up and that's oh, all Oh, man. I drug her a ways and... Yeah. Then I got really stuck. Okay. Yeah. Darn. That was. I had a lot of fun. I'm sure you did. Dude, the Bronco handles more like a trophy truck than our trophy truck. Did you see how much it picked up that front wheel? That sucker was out there for a good 20 feet, I'd say. So it sounds like the four-engine go-kart lost the chain and locked up the tire. Can't drive anywhere. Probably this, the hardest chain to get to. Yeah, this is the pain in the butt one. So the four engine go kart made it inside, had to drag it back with the tractor and the chain is jammed in between the sprocket and the tire. So we cut it, we're gonna yank it out and replace it. So we got the four engine go-kart repaired and it's time for the third and final event of our showdown. We brainstormed ideas and came up with a pretty sweet plan. So there's a field in front of Pathfinder Point. It's also the point where our second bigger jump is. So we're gonna start right there and we're gonna see who can get from point A to point B the fastest. The idea is we're going to either A, make a B line from point A to point B, that's from the jump to the bottom of the hill of Pathfinder Point, or the safe route would be to turn around and take the long way around on the road, which you can't get stuck, 
and try to get to point B. So, do you feel lucky? I'm feeling lucky. So you're going to be going across... Go across the mud. <laughs> yeah. Going across the mud. That's right. Yeah. So, um... I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to try to do, but, you know... Sounds good. It. I'm going to give you the break, man, since uh, since four-engine go-karts having a hard time. It really is. No tread on them tires. No. You know, it's, it's from uh, pulling your... Uh, Truck. Your truck up yeah. that hill. Yeah. You go first. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Cars and Cameras, everybody, of our four engine go kart versus our Bronco. Man, I feel like we got to revisit this one when we get some like real tires on the four engine go kart. I agree with you. It's a little bit embarrassing. It seemed a lot, it seemed to perform a lot better in the past when it had tread on the tires. Yeah, absolutely. So we kind of wore them tires out pulling your pickup truck yeah. up, the, up the hill. Right. And, and, you know, just burn out some general. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's time for tires. But yeah. it was a lot of fun shooting that video. I think our Bronco turned out really, really good so far. It actually performed a little bit It performs better. better with three less engines on it. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I, I kind of figured the four-engine go-kart would have performed better, but it didn't. And then I figured the Bronco would perform worse, but it performed better. So right. it's just like... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think uh, the Broncos turned out really, really good. Again, we need to revisit this episode of Bronco versus four engine go kart. When we get some real tires on the four engine go kart, maybe we can get a cameraman because uh, it was just a muddy mess out there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video again, guys. Subscribe if you enjoyed today's episode and leave a thumbs up. If you want to help support our future episodes, pick up one of our hoodies here uh, at cars cameras.com to help support the channel. Check Ike out at Isaac. It'll be fine on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, check uh, Cars and Cameras out in between episodes on Facebook at Cars and Cameras Reviews and Instagram at John underscore Cars and Cameras. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.